During OtaQuest Connect, we interviewed Yoko Kano, the composer famous for their work on Cowboy Bebop, Macross Plus, and Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex. During her interview with DJ Taku Takahashi, she spoke in depth about her childhood, entry into music, and how she goes about creating famous soundtracks that embody space rather than strictly genres. Here's five things you need to know about Yoko Kano. Yoko Kano was raised rigidly Catholic, and the only media she was allowed to consume was church hymns. She loved the piano though, and was gifted one as a child. And it was in kindergarten that her prodigy was realised, because it turns out, she could listen to music and be able to recreate it herself. This started when playing the organ in kindy, and in school she would write the score for music based on what she heard. So when all of her friends were into Lupin the Third and brought the opening theme in for her to listen to, she'd be able to write the score score ready to be performed. At the time, she considered it obvious, like why wouldn't you be able to do this? But in reality, she was just a prodigy, and her ability to transcribe by ear helps propel her into a career in composition. But even with that said, it wasn't exactly that she liked music, instead it just became something that she was good at. She took piano lessons as a kid, but quit because she didn't want it to feel like something she was obligated to do. For her, it was a method of expression before it was a hobby, and instead of studying music as a future career, she studied to be a journalist like her parents. That said, she was still transcribing music for the band club and participating in school events, but just because she was good at it. She eventually went to college to study literature, saw a cover band playing on campus, joined that band, and quit college after a week. If you could use one word to describe Kano, then impulsive might be it. Works out though. Yoko Kano isn't someone who has a good idea of genre. In fact, she doesn't even believe Cowboy Bebop's opening theme, Tank, even counts as jazz anymore, because she just wasn't thinking about the genre when creating it. Instead, she settled for a compromise, where she'd compose a couple of tracks that were specifically jazz, and then just do whatever she wanted for the rest. Tank is one of those. Instead of genre, she takes her inspiration from locations, and will often go location scouting to get a sense of place and how that can be turned into music. For Cowboy Bebop, this was the streets of New Orleans. She recalls a brass band on the street, composed of a bunch of kids, and she was so enthralled by their music that she channeled some of what she learned from them into her work on the show. Since Macross Plus, Kano has worked with a lyricist and vocalist named Gabriella Robin. In fact, Robin has only ever worked with Kano, and there was a very good reason for that. In 2009, Gabriella announced she would be performing live at a new concert. But when it was Robin's turn to sing, Yoko Kano got up and sang herself. It turns out Yoko Kano can sing as well, and every time she's done so for one of her tracks, she's credited it to the pseudonym Gabriella Robin. She kept this secret for 15 years, and even acted as if they were different people in interviews. Yoko Kano is mostly described as a composer, but her work has expanded into the territory of what you'd consider a producer would be doing. This isn't something she'd admit herself though, even when she's basically been producing for singer and voice actor Maya Sakamoto. But she's warmed to the title somewhat during lockdown this year, when working on creating online shows for multiple musicians, including her Cowboy Bebop band, The Seatbelts. OtaQuest founder Taku Takahashi starred in one of these as well. Since live performances aren't a thing these days, Kano's shows have been a neat way to get the band back together. Literally in the case of the seatbelts. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.